In fact, Skyrim's actual body mesh seems to be an imaginary shell. The real objects in Skyrim are invisible controller collisions, which in fact stay fixed and not scaled even if the character is sneaking or swimming. So crouching movements were useless. The controller collisions of some creature races in Skyrim are not affected by the actual actor scale. This can result in missing projectile shots and clipping through environments, etc. However, if you use dynamic collision adjustment, the collision height is adjusted so you can crouch and move under obstacles. Dynamic collision adjustment allows you to see in real time how controller collisions are being applied via the MCM settings. You can also set controller colliders to show up on all or adjusted only. If you can see controller collider in real time with these settings, you will have a better understanding of controller colliders. The character controller's collider is a green upright capsule, and for a quadruped, it's three yellow circles. The creators like this to show every actor their own unique controller collisions, so the creator tries to give them a feature path method that matches the actor's actual body mesh. As such, you can see variously set controller colliders through dynamic collision adjustment, and the size of the controller collider becomes smaller or larger depending on the character's behavior. This way, the real character's body will be lowered so that when sneaking the ground, it can pass through narrow gaps, which makes Skyrim feel even more immersive for the player. Maybe another creator can make the controller collider very minified and add the next step in sneaking, crawling. Like the accuracy precise projectile collisions introduced last time, dynamic collision adjustment is also an important mod. And both accuracy and dynamic collision adjustment are mods created by creator Ursh and are currently in early access, so you can try them out through his Patreon. Dynamic collision adjustment requires the latest version of True HUD. Or, if you are using True HUD 1.1.6 version, you must use the attached True HUD.dll file together with dynamic collision adjustment. Thank you very much for watching the video till the end. Subscription like notification setting is very helpful for channel growth. See you next time.